In 1969, I became the 37th President of the United States, succeeding Lyndon B. Johnson. My name is Richard Nixon. My term was marked by significant accomplishments, but also by controversies that would leave a lasting impact on the history of my presidency. From the outset, I sought to implement my policy of détente with the Soviet Union and Communist China. In 1972, I undertook a historic visit to China, thus establishing diplomatic relations with the Chinese government. This move contributed to easing international tensions during the Cold War. During this period, I also initiated the policy of Vietnamization, with the aim of transferring the responsibility for the Vietnam War to South Vietnamese forces. My administration gradually withdrew American troops from Vietnam, seeking an honorable exit from this complex conflict. However, my presidency was heavily tainted by the Watergate scandal. In 1972, burglars linked to my election campaign were arrested for attempting to break into the Democratic Party headquarters at the Watergate Hotel in Washington. As the investigation progressed, it became apparent that members of my administration were involved in covering up the facts. Congressional and FBI investigations revealed that I had been informed of the plot to obstruct the Watergate investigation. On August 8, 1974, Aware of the legal and political implications, I announced my resignation as President of the United States. It was a challenging moment for both me and the country, marking the first time in American history that a sitting president resigned. My resignation paved the way for Gerald Ford's presidency, who later granted me a presidential pardon for any involvement in the Watergate scandal. Although my presidency was complex, with both successes and failures, it left an indelible mark on American political history.